Morning, Mayor. Good morning, Joe. Here we go again. Yep. Here we go again. Um, we are uh, we are well prepared, but it looks like we are going to get slammed. Uh, both the uh, National Weather Service, the Boston stations, and then our own uh, service that we use all indicate we're right in the sweet spot. Uh, that this is two feet plus. Uh, that is extremely significant. So this is going to be a real challenge for our operation, uh, for our teams. We are planning accordingly. Uh, brining operations today in preparation. Uh, Al Graziosa, Larry Prendival, Ed Leary are putting together a game plan, a, uh, a war plan, if you will. Um, we've got extra equipment coming in. We've got some pretty good, loyal contractors that work with us on a regular basis, and they have the ability to grab some more equipment. Uh, we're also reaching out to other contractors for, for the big stuff. I mean, if we end up getting 30 inches of snow to go, um, that's going to be uh, one hell of a mess we're going to have to deal with. And some of the challenges, for example, to get school open, um, you know, the, there's a lot of sidewalks that are cleared for walking routes. But when you push in the snow in to the sidewalk and you get 30 inches of snow, it, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for those small machines that usually clear the sidewalks to even get through that. So we're, we've, we've got some real challenges. I'm, I'm encouraging people... Please follow the guidelines and rules. This is not a typical six or eight inches. Once they, if we don't get the cars moved, they're going to be buried there, and it's going to get even more challenging and difficult to get the city cleaned up. So I encourage people, one, to stay home. Don't be on the roads. Don't be out just for the hell of it, out looking around to see what's going on. Please, please stay off the roads. They're talking at points that could be two to four inches an hour. So the plows won't even be able to drive at that point. They'll have to pull over and just wait. Uh, this this is that type of a storm event. We only get these every so often. I mean, February 15 was one after another, but it wasn't one storm. There's nothing like this on record since the blizzard of 78, as, as we've been told. So we've got, uh, we've, we're preparing. We are prepared. We have some amazing public servants. But I'm telling you, we've got to get the word out to the public that please don't fool around with this. And even if you can park on the yard side, if there's room in the driveway, get off the street. The more cars we get off the street, the better job we can do for cleanup. Even though it looks like it could be mild by the middle of the week, they're talking rain later in that week. That means we're going to have flooding issues. So we want to get um, as much space as we can in the road so we can open up the storm drains. It, it's it's, it's, this is going to be a son of a gun. It really hit. There's no question. Yeah, the uh, we should remind folks the parking, the new parking garage at Kilroy Square is free from four o'clock today through four o'clock Sunday. So a good place to put your car. It'll be out of the snow, out of the elements, and it won't get towed. That's correct. And you know, just a reminder on the basics: have a flashlight ready. You know, have your your devices charged up tonight before you go to bed. It could be some power outages. We're going to have a team from National Grid in the city. But in the height of the storm, you can't be up in a bucket truck repairing this stuff when the wind's blowing 40, 50 miles an hour in the middle of a blizzard. Yeah. So um, people got to be patient. I, you know, suggest it's like turning your heat up, mm-hmm. having a little bit warmer in case you lose your power for a few hours, then, uh, then it doesn't get real real frigid. Uh, some of the basics, a, you know, I don't think you have to tell anyone to go out and buy food. The, the stocks will be cleaned by this afternoon, <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, the shelves will be cleaned up for certain. But anyway, um, this is serious. Yeah. This is a very serious storm. I don't, um, I don't get in the game of, of exaggerating or hyperbole. It, it, this, is, this is real. Yeah. We are prepared, but the public has to help us. Is, you know, we, we need to make sure that every road is accessible for fire trucks, ambulance, and police cars. Um, of course, for people to navigate as well when the storm is over. But we can't do that if there's cars back on both sides of the street. And, uh, you know, there's only so much room we can for tow as well. So yeah. we'll, be, we'll be towing. We're, we're getting people the warning tonight. When storm emergency is going in tonight. Uh, we're letting everybody know uh, by every means possible, every platform that we can use on the social media side. Uh, even talk to your neighbors. Stack the cars on the driveways. Get them off the street. Mm-hmm. Mayor, a particular concern about uh, coastal uh, flooding. What's uh, what's the thought here in Quincy when it comes to the the coastal issues? It is a concern, yeah. but we're prepared. I mean, all the tide gates are, are being dealt with, so that uh, you know, it's, you know, ten point five is is high, but it's not extreme. 
the concern then is, okay, how much surge and splash over will we have in those typical areas? Yeah. It's going to be a real test for the new seawalls. So it's certainly a good thing for those neighborhoods um, for that seawall to be in place. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm not overly concerned about that. We're prepared for it uh, with extra trucks and machines, uh, and, they, and the crews know what they need to do. But there's not a whole lot you can do about it when it happens, right. except um, be prepared to help evacuate people uh, and then, of course, deal with getting it drained out as quickly as we can through the storm drain system and pumps and so forth. So we're, we're prepared for all of it. I mean, mm-hmm. none of this is new to us, as you know, but... Uh, this looks like it's going to be a real, real big one. And uh, so that means, um, you know, the norm is, is that we usually deal with on snow routes. The amount of equipment, the amount of people is just, it's it's going to be extremely challenging. Yeah. And the duration of the event as well. I mean, you can't expect guys to, to be out there 16, 18, 20 hours. I mean, they're only, they're only human beings. So, um, we you know, thankfully it's a weekend. You don't have to go somewhere. Don't go out. Please just yeah. stay home. You know? I don't know if you've been in touch with the governor or not, but uh, as you recall, uh, during the blizzard, the National Guard had to come out in some communities. Do you think that's a possibility this time around? It, it's a possibility. Yeah. I, I would never say no to any any help. I think we're well prepared. we got a lot of equipment coming in. And, of course, you deal with the breakdown issue. You know, If it's that heavy to move, yep. you do lose equipment during the storm. But we're getting uh, we're getting a lot of extra loaders in, uh, which will help us as well. Um, you know, but you, you know, you get an inch an hour is usually pretty serious. Mm-hmm. You talk about two to four inches an hour. Yeah, it's insane, Joe. Yeah. Um, you won't be able to see in front of your face. Great. It's it's uh, so you know the plows can't drive in that. It's just it's it's a possibility for people really getting hurt uh, if that's the case. Yeah. So. We're going to fall behind during the middle of the storm. There's no question about it. Yep. Uh, but it's not for lack of preparation. It's not for lack of effort. Yeah. It's just reality. So, well, for, I mean, for folks who haven't experienced this, the, the landscape takes on a whole different look. You, you don't distinguish between streets and sidewalks and yards and roads. Everything kind of looks all white. You don't really know where you're going. Or that's you, that's w- exactly right. Yeah. And when you bring in the bigger, bigger equipment and the huge loaders, they don't have the feel for that stuff, so right. we're going to have some damage, and uh, they'll be pulling up, uh, who knows, <laughs> but uh, I don't look forward to that part of it. But, you know, it, it, that's exactly right. It all blends in. And so, again, I can't emphasize enough, please get your cars off the road, yep. get them in the backyard, get them in the, stack them in the driveways. If you get a neighbor that doesn't use their driveway, ask them if you can use the driveway in exchange for shoveling it out, but... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I know that I see it. I see it in my own neighborhood. They have one car at the end of the driveway and two cars on the street when they could put everything in the driveway. Yeah. Uh, even if you're allowed to that side of the street, the more cars we get off the road, the better job we can do. Sure. Will the um, emergency operations center be open? It probably will be open. Yeah. I know we, we we had a meeting yesterday with all the key department heads. Mm-hmm. Um, it it will be. It's not open to the public, as you know, well, but right, it will yeah. be open for operations. Um, we are prepared with forestry crews and yeah. if we have the tree issues. And that's where it gets tricky. Sometimes people get anxious. A tree comes down, takes the wires down. We can't attack the removal of that tree until the power company, National Grid, shuts the power off because mm-hmm. we don't want guys getting electrocuted. So there's there's a lot of steps, but. We use the operations center for all the key players from all the agencies uh, to meet, to gather, um, and uh, compare notes and make sure we're all doing the, what we need to do. Yeah, yeah. Patience is going to be <laughs> going to be the watchword for sure throughout this. Indeed, and I'm not a very patient guy, so <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll be pushed to the limit this yeah. weekend. But we ask everybody, please, please, please follow the guidelines and don't go out. It's it's probably too soon, Mayor. But school on Monday. What do, what are you thinking right now? It is too soon, okay. Joe. Yep. If we get 30 inches of snow, I think it's doubtful school will be open Monday. Yeah. But that's something we'll, uh, I mean, you know, if this storm takes a track or a turn or, and you only get a foot of snow, mm-hmm. even though a foot's a lot, that right. changes everything. Yep. So I don't like to call things too early, yep. but I've already talked to the superintendent about contingencies and, and plans. Um, but if we get 30 inches of snow, I doubt very much the school will be open on Monday. Yeah. Well, stay safe, Mayor, and if we can do anything else here at QATV to let folks know what's going on, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Happy to help. 
Thanks, Joe. We appreciate you guys doing uh, getting the word out for us. It's extremely important. Absolutely. Well, so good luck to you. Get thank, your shovel ready. Thank you very much, Mayor. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye.